Mhm. What's it doing? What's it doing? Hmm? I can't film you if you're too close. I cannot film you if you're too close. Oh. <laughs> oh, be careful. Be careful. Go play. Look, she is supervising. <laughs> she was supervising. Go play. Go play. Oh, these babies. I haven't filmed them in a while. <laughs> uh, because they're very overwhelming. Um, and oh. They just want to climb me. Come on, I want you to play here. You have a little more energy now. Go play. Here. You want to play in your box? I brought you a box. I brought you a box. No. No. These babies, um, and I know I have their collars off, um, that is because they are having to have sub-Q fluids several times a day, and it's difficult with collars on, and then sometimes the collars get wet with Lee, it's just, oh, it's too difficult, um, to keep a collar on at the moment. Yes, um, but I did want to film them and talk, hey. Come look at me. Oh, no, it's okay. Um, and just let everyone know what's going on with them. Um, maybe. Maybe, maybe. They have an a vet appointment. We've been trying to wait. Uh, this appointment has been in the making. Oh, it's my pink shirt. That's like... It's making, see like where their cream is on their eyes, it's making it look funny. Um, anyway, hi Lois, those are beautiful. Those are beautiful. Um, it's been in the works for a while. We were trying to wait until they hit a pound. Um, however, Kali won't hit a pound. She just won't do it. Hold on, I'll turn the... Hang on and show you. Now, Worf finally, finally hit a pound three ounces. But look at this baby. Okay, and keep in mind, they are eight weeks old yesterday. Eight weeks old yesterday. No, oh, no, no. Stay, stay, stay. Oh, stay, stay. Look at that. 14.6. That's what this little girl weighs. And she is eight weeks old. She should be almost two pounds. He should be almost two pounds. I've had them since they were what? Maybe five days old. So I know exactly what nutrition they've had. I know exactly what has happened to them. And uh, it doesn't make any sense. Um, and you know, I've said from the very beginning, these are the, I won't say weird, they are the most different kittens I've ever had. They have all, they're also the most difficult. Um, I've had difficult kittens before, but usually the difficulties don't last their entire lifetime <laughs> that I've had them. Normally it comes and goes, but these baby, I mean, it's every day. Every day it's touch and go with them and we, we don't know. We don't know why. We um, So anyway, they're going into the vet because we've been wanting to do a blood panel <clears throat> on them. Okay, I got interrupted. Oh. Um, 
but as I was saying, we wanted to do blood work on them for a while, uh, and the vet and I, because we've had this, you know, I've, oh, I'm sorry. See, we have discussions about you all the time. Here, go play. Look, I even brought, they love these things. Look, I brought it for you. Yeah, I don't know why, but they do. <laughs> um, huh, are they being good, she right? Uh, so anyway, because we can't, you know, I know I made fun of the fact that I said they were part mountain lion or bobcat. I've said that from the beginning. Um, I don't think that's true. Oh, there you are. Look, I brought your thing. I brought your thing. Hey, no. Um, I don't really think that's true. However, there is something genetically odd about them. One, all three kittens are identical. Um, and if you've ever seen a litter of kittens, that's not normal. That was like my first thing, but it was just, you know, I was joking about it. But then getting them to eat was like terrible and they had to be too fed. And then they got really sick and poor calamity passed, um, quickly. And then, uh, they, they will, they just, they won't gain weight. Um, they're still getting a bottle. They're still on the bottle. Now they are eating some uh, solid foods. They will eat the Fancy Beast Classic, but that's it. I even tried them on a couple other things. Uh, nope, they'll eat the Fancy Beast Classic, the beef and the turkey, but they won't eat the chicken. I don't know, they're weird. Um, so they're still getting like three, four bottles a day. Uh, they're also getting vitamin supplements, probiotics, they're all kinds of stuff. And nothing is working. So, this week we are going to do a blood panel and a glucose panel to check and see if there is a thyroid problem or a glucose problem. Um, and then, because something's going on, they are constantly needing fluids they really actually i need to give them more they've had fluids twice today and they really need more um something something is going on and it's it's not anything i've ever seen before because on one hand they're healthy in that they run around play have fun um they have i will be honest the past several days they have been a little more lethargic uh as you see this is collie she is she's not really playful um but as a rule you know they have inner i don't know it's the oddest thing it is the oddest thing i mean i feel like i live at the vet's office i really do hello hello okay well, i just wanted to update everyone um yeah, and I will come back and let everybody know, you know, because I'm sure they'll have to have more things done than just blood work, but that's where we're starting. Because, you know, if I had just gotten the kittens, I wouldn't be worried. Because uh, I've had kittens come in malnourished and that kind of thing before, but these, these babies have been in my care uh, since pretty much since they were born. So it doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. They say, wish us luck. Yeah, wish us luck. Yes. I know. Okay, say bye. Oh, the cutest baby. Yeah, that's Worf. Say hi. I can tell them apart, but I know it's getting difficult for everyone.